we're gonna take and I apologize for the light. We're gonna take the ELM 327 and connect it to my uh, ODB2 here. You gotta bear with me. Alright. We're gonna launch the application. This is uh, the scan tool. Dot net and it says it again interface was not found let's go to options this one com 4 9600 manager up uh, under com ports let me go back I want to confirm under ports yep as you can see com port 4 That's the port settings, 9600. Let's see what other port settings. We got 38, uh, 30, 30, yeah, 38, 100. Uh, go ahead and select that one. Select. Okay. All right. So now I'm gonna select save. And scan to the start response. Are you sure? Yes. All right. So let's go ahead and exit. Do you really want to quit? So yes. Now uh, let's go ahead and relaunch the scan tool. Waiting for ECU. Timeout. Detecting ODB protocol. Protocol could not be detected. Please check connections to the vehicle and make sure ignition is on all right by changing the com port settings we got a, a different message all right so I'm now reopening the software waiting for EUC to timeout detecting ODB protocol okay all right, so it didn't say anything. P0171, system two lane, bank one. So this one just says system two lane. It doesn't necessarily tell me uh, bank one. But I don't think this is, no, nah, this is pretty, this this software right here, the scan, scan net, scan to net dot, uh, what is this? 1.13 is pretty basic. Uh, let's go to sensor data. Alright, so it's pretty much reading some uh, information from the vehicle, the RPMs and loop. Alright, let's go ahead and fire it up. Fire up the car. Let me, uh... Man, that's pretty cool. My phone had uh, ran out of disk space. I did wanted to show you that you can, even with the scan tool.net 1.13 version, which I'm pretty sure there's an updated version that has more features, you can clear codes. So such as this code here, P0171. If I go to clear, it does give me the option to clear codes, okay? However, I'm not going to do it while the engine is running. So I'm going to go ahead and turn the engine off. Put the engine back on the on position. Alright. So we're on the on position. So I went back to main. Now I'm going to go select read codes. I'm going to go select yes to clear. Alright, so now go back to main, go back to read codes, and let's see if it comes up with anything. Alright, so there we go. The code's been cleared. I also wanted to show you that my service engine soon light is gone.